Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Oni de Guzman, and our topic for today is measures of central tendency of ungrouped data. Specifically, we'll talk about the mean, media, and mode with Excel for grade 10, quarter 4. In studying statistics, the collection of data or measurement is comprised, hence adding of several numbers is needed. The sigma symbol, read as the sum of, is used when adding several numbers. Summation or sigma notation is a convenient and simple form of shorthand used to give a concise expression for a sum of the values of a variable. Okay, assuming that the table shows your final grades from the different learning areas, so you have the subject Filipino, Math, English, Science, TLE, ESP, AP, and MAPE. And here are your final grades. So we will let X as the final grades of the different learning areas. In symbol, if we want to find the summation of X sub I, starting at I is equal to 1 and end with 8. It means that X sub 1 is the final grade for Filipino, X sub 2 is for math, X sub 3 is for English, X sub 4 is for science, X sub 5 is for the TLE, X sub 6 is for the ESP, X uh, sub 7 is uh, for AP, and X sub 8 is equal to your MAPI final grade. So if we will add all the grades, all the final grades starting from 90, so we have 90 plus 94 plus 92 plus 94 plus 92 plus 94 plus 92 plus 96. So this is the meaning of summation of x sub i starting from i is equal to 1 until 8. So we have summation of x sub i starting from 1 to 8 is equal to 744. It means that summation of x sub i starting from i is equal to 1 to 8. If we will add all the elements, so we can rewrite this one simply as the summation of x. Let's consider another example. Given the data on the table, find the summation of x. So we have the following information. So we have for the office, we have the general inquiry, property transfer, business permit, driver's license. So we have the number of transactions per day. We have 12. 20, 32, and 40 as well. So if we want to find the summation of x, it means that we will have x sub 1 plus x sub 2, x sub 3 plus x sub 4, such that x sub 1 is equal to 12, while x sub 2 is equal to 20, x sub 3 is equal to 32, and x sub 4 is equal to 40. So the summation of x is equal to 12 plus 20 plus 32 plus 40 is equal to 104. So if we have an ungrouped data as a set of values that is not organized or classified as a group. So a measure of central tendency is the value that represents the whole set of data. And these are the following, the mean, median, and mode. So if we will start, the mean of ungrouped data is obtained by adding all the values divided by the frequency of a set of data. In symbol, so the mean of the ungrouped data is also called the average. So it can be rewritten as the mean in symbol is equal to summation of x all over n. Such that, okay, this is the mean. Summation of x is the sum of all of entries and n is the frequency. Let's consider this example number one. Given the data on the table, what is the average transactions per day? So we have the following office as well as the number of transactions per day. So we have the general inquiry, property transfer, business permit, and driver's license. So we have the following data. So we have 12, 20, 32, and 40 respectively. Now, if we want to find the average transaction per day, so we will use the symbol, the mean is equal to summation of x all over n, such that the entries or the data are 12 plus 20 plus 32 plus 40 and the n or the number of entries is equal to 4 because we have 1, 
2, 3, and 4. So, we have 104 as the sum of 12, 20, 32, and 40. So, the mean is equal to 26. So, therefore, the average transaction, transactions per day is equal to 26. Alright, to use the Excel files, I'll simply type in here the office, the number of transactions, general inquiry, property, business permit, and driver's license. So what you're going to do is simply for the average, I'll simply write equal sign, then write average, open parenthesis, then highlight. So 12 until 40, and close parenthesis, and press enter. So we can see that the average is equal to 26. So let's move on to example number two. So the table shows the number of active cases of COVID-19 in 16 barangays in Martina City as of May 14, 2021. So what is the mean active cases of the 16 barangays in Martina City? So again, so if we will find the mean, so we have summation of S all over N. So we will add all these numbers 32, 27, 41 until 23, 12, and 12. So again, we will add here 32 plus 27 plus 41 until 23 plus 12 plus 12. Now take note that there are actually 16 entries if we will count from 32 or from Barangas. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So there are 16 entries in all. So we have here, so if we will add from 30 to 27 to 41 until 23, 12, and 12, so we have 358 divided by 16. So we can say that mean is equal to 23.375. So therefore, the mean active cases is 22.375. Uh, Again, to use the Excel file, so we have here uh, name of barangay as well as the number of cases. Again, for our count, so we want to verify whether our the number of files is the same. So what we're going to do is simply put equal sign, open, I mean, right count, then open parenthesis, highlight the first data from 12, 32 until 12. So close parenthesis. So it shows that there are 16. So from our inspection a while ago, there are 16 barangays. Next, to find the sum, so again, we will write equal sign, sum. So this is equal to, open parenthesis, highlight the first data, 32, until the last data of 12. So we found out this is equal to 358, which is the same as what we computed a while ago. Now, let's move on to the average or the mean. So, we simply write equal sign, average, open parenthesis. Then, we will highlight the first data until last data of 32, from 32 to 12, close parenthesis, enter. So, we found out that the average is 22.375. The next measure of central tendency is the median. So the median of ungrouped data is the middle value of a set of the data when all values are arranged in either ascending or descending order. So if the frequency of the data is odd, then the middle value median of the set of data. If it is even, the median of the data is the mean of the two middle values. So we will use the symbol, so that is the median is equal to n plus 1 all over to n uh, score so such that we have here this is the median and n is the frequency moving on so let's determine the median of the given data so 71 73 77 82 84 90 and 96 the first thing that we will do is arrange them in ascending order so let's inspect. Is 71 until 96 is ascending order? So we found out the 71, 73, 77, 82, 84, 90, and 96 is already in ascending order. Next, so we have here the symbol of median is equal to n plus 1 over to score. 
So that is why we have seven entries. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven plus one all over two. So this is equal to eight over two is equal to four. So from starting from left side, 71, we will count for the fourth score. So we have here one, two, three, four. So therefore, we can say that 82 is the fourth score and that is the median of the given data. Let's have example number four. So the table shows the number of active cases of COVID-19 in 16 barangays in Marquina City as of May 14, 2021. So what is the median of the active cases of the 16 barangays in Marikina City? So what we're going to do is we have the following active cases. So we need to arrange this one into okay, ascending order. So again, so we start from okay, the formula. So we have n plus 1 all over 2. So it means that okay, we have 16 entries. It means that n is equal to 16. So we have here 16 plus 1 all over 2. So we have 17 over 2 is equal to 8.5 score. So meaning to say starting from the left side, we will have 8.5 score. So how do we do that? So the first is <clears throat> we will arrange the given entries or the number of cases in ascending order. So we have 9, 9, 12, 12, 12, 12, 19, 19, 20, 23, 27, 32, 36, 36, 39, and 41. Since we were looking for the 8.5 score, so what we're going to do is here count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So 8.5 is between uh, 8 and 9 score. It so happened that we have 19 and 20. So to get this, to get the middle score, so we will get the average, which means that 19 plus 20 all over 2, so this is equal to okay, 39 all over uh, 39 all over 2, so that is equal to 19.5. So therefore, the median is equal to 19.5. Once again, we will use the Excel. Now, in order to find the median of the ungrouped data, so what we're going to do is press, press equal sign. Then we have we will write median open parenthesis and we will highlight the data so starting from 32 until 12 and close parenthesis and press enter so you can easily determine the median so we found out that the median is equal to 19.5 which is the same value as we get a while ago the next measure of central tendency that we will discuss is the mode so the mode of the ungrouped data is the value that most frequently appears in a set of data. When the value in a set of data appears only once, then the data has no mode. However, the data can be also classified according to the number of modes it has. If the data has one mode, we call this one as unimodal. If it has two modes, then this is by modal. Lastly, if the set of data has more than one mode, then it is said to be multimodal. So let's consider problem number five. So the table shows number of active cases of COVID-19 in 16 barangays in Marikina City as of May 14, 2021. So what is the mode of active cases of the 16 barangays in Marikina City? So again, we will arrange the numbers or the data. So of 32, 27, 41 until 23, 12, and 12. So again, so this is the arrange in ascending order. So we have 9, 9, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 19, 19, 20, 23, 27, 32, 36, 36, 39, and 41. So take note that, okay, 12 appears the most numbers. So we can say that the mode is 12. For example, number six, the water consumption in cubic meter for the past six months is shown below. So find the mean, median, and mode. Now, in order to solve the problem of the mean, median, and mode, so we will use the Excel. So what we're going to do here, we have month, water consumption in cubic meters. We have the month, July, August, September, October, November, 
and December. So again, so let's determine the number of entries first. Again, so the formula is equal, then write count, open parenthesis, until, okay, that is actually from C3 to C8, close parenthesis, enter. So it means that we have six entries. And the sum is, we will write equal sign, sum, highlight again, from 73 until 74, location, entry, enter. Next, so since we want to find out the average or the mean, median, and modes, so what we're going to do is simply equal sign, open parenthesis, highlight, from 73 to 74. It means that from 70, uh, C3 to C8, and do not forget to write, of course, the average. Don't forget here the average. And then the close parenthesis. Enter. So it means the average is 74.5. So that is the average consumption or water consumption for the last six months. Next, what is the median? Again, equal sign, then write median, open parenthesis, highlight from the first data 73 until 74, close parenthesis, and enter. So still the median is 74.5. And finally, the mode, equal sign, write mode, Close par ah, open parenthesis, highlight from 73 to 74, close parenthesis, enter. So the mode is 74. By inspection, we have two 74. So the mode is 74. So that ends our discussion on the topic of okay, measures of central tendency of out-group data. Again, this is Teacher on the Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you and have a nice day.